With the loft surface tool, you can create complex 3D shapes from a series of NURBS curves. These curves will act as either a rail or cross section. A rail is a NURBS curve that is used as a guide for the loft surface to determine the resulting shape. Depending on which tool mode you use, you will need to have a combination of NURBS cross section curves and rails. These cross sections, or profiles, can be open or closed shapes. In the toolbar, you will see three modes for the loft surface tool. The first mode, no rail, requires only two or more NURBS curve cross sections. Because you are using the NURBS curves as cross sections of the intended surface, you must space them out to define the length of the surface. To create the surface in this manner, click on the loft surface tool from the 3D modeling tool set and choose no rail mode from the toolbar. Now click on each cross section curve. The curve will highlight in red when it is selected. The point nearest to the click will be selected for the proposed curve and direction, which will display in red as each section is selected. Continue selecting the cross-section curves in the order you want the surface to be created in. The order that the cross-section curves are selected will affect the direction of the created surface. Once you have selected all of the cross-section curves, click the green checkmark button in the toolbar or press enter on your keyboard. This will bring up the loft creation dialog. In this dialog, there are several parameters to help you control the creation of the loft surface. Select curve will allow you to cycle through the cross section curves. This will enable you to select a specific curve and control how the surface is drawn to each curve. Reverse will reverse the direction of the selected curve. This can be useful to control the twist if your loft surface twists around the profile shapes. Select Alignment by Point will select the previous or next point on the selected cross-section curve. This will control what point on the cross-section the surface is drawn to. If the cross-section does not have any corners, this option will be disabled. Select Alignment by Percentage will select a point along a geometrically continuous cross-section, like a circle. You can control what point is selected by specifying a percentage or adjusting the slider. The ruled parameter creates a linear, interpolated object. With this box checked, the resulting object will be straight lines from each point, instead of a curve. The closed option will create a loft surface that closes in on itself. Because you are unable to select the same start point and end point of the loft, this option will automatically complete the connection between these points. The Create Solid option will create a loft surface with capped ends. If you have this option checked, the resulting shape will be a generic solid. Otherwise, it will give you a group of NURB surfaces. Keep Curves will create the loft surface with the values you specified, but it will retain the original cross-section curves that were used. This is helpful if you need to create similar surfaces from the same cross-section curves. The Preview button will draw a wireframe preview of the loft surface that will be created, making it easy to quickly adjust your settings to make sure the curve is exactly what you are looking for, without having to redo the command. The second mode in the toolbar is One Rail Mode. This mode requires one NURBS curve rail and at least one cross-section. Select the mode from the toolbar and then click on the rail curve. Now click on each cross section. If you are using more than one cross section, the rail must intersect each curve. Once all the curves are selected, press enter or click the green check mark button. Specify your desired loft creation settings and click OK. If you use a single cross section, the rail does not need to intersect and the curve will be swept along the rail. The third mode for the loft surface tool is by rail sweep mode. In this mode, the cross section curve does not need to intersect the rail curves. Click on each rail and then click on the cross section curve. Press enter or click the green check mark once the profile or cross section curve is selected. Specify the loft creation settings in the dialog and click OK. The surface will be created differently depending on if the profile is open or closed and how the endpoints of the rails touch the profile curve. In certain cases, the click order in the location of the clicks will produce a different loft surface. In this example, the endpoints of the rails are touching the start and end point of the open profile shape. This means that the rail click order and profile click location do not affect the surface creation. If we change it so that the rails do not touch the start or end point of the open profile, the rail click order in the location where the profile is clicked will affect the surface. If we click on the right rail first, then the left rail, and then the top of the profile, it will create the surface in this way. If we click on the left rail first and then the right rail, 
then the bottom of the profile, the surface will look like this. This works similarly with closed profile shapes. With the loft surface tool, you can quickly make complex 3D geometry and organic shapes. This gives you the ability to model an endless amount of objects with very few clicks.